What's up, YouTube? This is Christian here, and today I'm going to show y'all my collection of posters. Over the year and a half, I started liking different stuff, and whatever I like at the time, I usually get a poster of it. So it's going to vary a little bit, and a lot of these are original, some of them ain't. That's life, you know. But the uh, first one I got over here is pretty cool. It's kind of messed up, but uh, I got this off eBay. It's Back to the Future when it was released on VHS back in 86. I'm going to say 80, it's got 85 on it, but I think it came out in 86 on uh, VHS and whatnot, and it's made out of a cloth, that was at a Blockbuster, so that's pretty cool, I need to get it, I need to re-straighten it, but uh, got that pretty cheap, it's about 15 bucks, and if you know, if you can get something like that as opposed to just getting a reprint, why the hell not, you know, so that's the first one I got, not in order, this ain't no specific order which I got them, but we're going to go in left, right to left in the room. And I've shown you this from a previous video. That's the Halloween 3. And uh, that's a reprint. The reason I got that one is because it was just cheap. They had a lot of originals on eBay and they just cost too much money. I love the movie to death. You know that already. But uh, my wallet doesn't. So that's that right there. Right over here we got Jean-Claude Van Damme. This is a 94 original. Uh, come get the camera here so I can prove this. You can see right here it says available on video video cassette and a laser disc. So there you go. That shows you that it's an original. Um, I got this because this definitely is not the best video Jean-Claude did and I'll be the first to tell you that. But I like this movie because it kind of made fun of itself and because Raul Julia died right after the movie and I really liked him. So I wanted to get that to try to keep his spirit alive, you know. So that's the next one I got. I need to get that frame too. I don't know why I haven't. But that's the next thing on the agenda. Right here is actually a puzzle, and this is a, the puzzle is from 1990, so technically that is an original. Um, I worked at a thrift store for a while, and I love Ninja Turtles, and I could do probably seven videos and all the Turtles crap I got, but we found that, and uh, I had a Turtles poster on the other wall, and now it's in my, my uh, recording studio, but we put that together, and uh, I figured, you know, it, it looks pretty damn good, so why not, you know, throw that in a frame, and rock it out. So that's the uh, next thing. And I got Nintendo Power Magazines. I used to have my room organized different. So I got all this crap. You can see Charles Barkley right there. But I'm, he can get covered up. I don't really care. I got a lot of different crap over there. And uh, go right up to the top. I used to go to Tech for a while and they had these guys selling posters. And uh, I'm a big Stallone fan. And uh, if you case you already know that. And I found that there. And uh, What's weird is that's a picture from Rocky 2, but the quote's from 4. So, beats the hell out of me. I guess it's, it's not that big of a deal, but I, sometimes my OCD kicks in and it pisses me off. But regardless, I like it. You know, it's nice to look up to when you wake up in the morning and you got a hard test in school or whatever. So that's a nice thing to have. I like that. Y'all come see this real quick. My favorite Michael Fox movie is Secret of My Success. Uh... You can get mad at me for that, saying why isn't it Back to the Future? But I just, I'm an '80s man, and everything about this movie was, to me, was the best. I just love the saxes and the music, and uh, I like the Brantley Foster character. I thought he was really, you know, charismatic and really edgy, and just, you know, the, the movie had a good vibe. I really liked it. So uh, I got that. This, is, you can tell, that's a reprint. But I got a big one of it. You can tell it's probably one of the biggest posters I got. And I can't find a damn uh, frame to fit it. I might have to go get one special made because it's so big. But uh, I got that about last summer when I finally got the movie because I never heard of it. You know, I just when I got back into Michael Fox, all I heard about was you know Back to the Future and Doc Hollywood. But then I found that and I said, what the hell? Let's get a poster of it. You go straight up to the top. Uh, this is from my this is from my grandma. Uh, when I was a little kid, she showed me Child's Play, and I remember I was obsessed and scared as crap watching it as a kid but it stuck with me ever since I kept growing up and for some reason I like the third one the most I don't know why it's I guess Chucky was just a genuine jackass in the movie so uh and the post is the coolest you know with his face like that so I figured you know what time to get a poster of it you come right up here okay uh a lot of people make fun of this movie because, you know, he's only in Manhattan for, like, what, 15 minutes? Sure, it should have been called Jason Takes a Cruise Ship, but I think Kane Hodder kicked a lot of ass in it, and uh, I thought that was the best depiction of Jason as the character in any of the movies, in my opinion. 
And uh, I just like the music in the movie. The girls look good, and I thought it was good. So he said, you know what? Let's get it. Let's get a poster of it. I think the poster art's oh, magnificent on it too. You come down right here. You're gonna see my pride and joy. Uh, I'm a huge Full Moon Productions fan. I like Charles Band films. Puppet Master is my favorite, and uh, I got the second movie of Puppet Master too across the street. My grandpa's house is getting a frame for me. But we got this puppy here. This is an original. You can see right there. It's got available on video cassette and laser disc. Demonic toys. I remember uh, I found this on Netflix one day, and I was like, "This has got to be horrible." But I found out that it was the same guy who made Puppet Master. Said, so "Let's give it a shot," and I ended up li liking it a lot. Uh, the baby's my favorite. He's a little bastard, but uh, it's a big old sucker too. But that's an original, so I got that. And uh, old Jack, old Jack watches me while I sleep right there. So it's good to have that thing right there. You come right here. It's probably the most badass poster I got in my room, in my opinion. Uh, for Christmas this past year, my mama got me that. That's an original. It's brand new. But it's an original, too. You can tell. It's kind of got a worn look to it, but it's still mint. That's Rambo First Blood Part 2. And, uh... That's what gives me my strength, damn it. That's the, that's the best poster I got. Uh, I had to get that in original because it's, Stallone's my favorite actor. And, uh, the Rambo series is probably my favorite. A little more than Rocky. But, uh... I'm hoping to get... I'd like to get a first blood soon, but as you can see, I don't really have much room to put it on my wall. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work something. Uh, somebody might need to go, or we just might have to suck it up. But that's probably the most expensive poster I got. That thing probably ran me about seventy seventy five dollars since it was brand new, even though it's an original. You come up right here when I was back at Tech. This is a reprint, but uh, this is probably the first poster I got in my room, and. Uh, it's kind of unorganized and uneven with everything else, but uh, I kept it right there. Just you know, since it was the first one I got, and it's rocky, I don't really want to mess with it, move it at all. I should get it framed, but uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty tight right now, so I might have to wait because I got other crap I want to fix up. But uh, yeah, that's rocky, so it's gonna stay up there to the end of time, you know. And then I don't know why I, when I ordered that rocky four. I could have sworn I ordered a 24 by like 30, but I come in and the, the thing's damn pocket sized and it's got, you can't see it good, but it's got these crease lines over it. So it's like a print of a picture off the internet of Rocky. Whoever sold me that on eBay, you're a jackass. Um, but uh, it took like three weeks to get in and it was only like three states away from me and I live in Louisiana. So, uh... Whoever you are, screw you, but uh, I kept it because, you know, what the hell, it kind of, I could slot it right next to Rocky over my door, and uh, sometimes I give it a little tap right as I'm leaving my room to give me some, give me some strength, you know. This ain't a poster, but uh, I want to give my shout out to my Uncle Mark real quick, because he had the Rocky 2 on record, and uh, I ain't got a record player or nothing, so I just decided to throw it up there, you know, because it kind of matched the Rocky Stallone flow coming left to right. And I have the first one. I used to put it right here, but it keeps falling off. So I took it down and I threw it somewhere else. So it's kind of unsymmetrical, but what we you know, what the hell. It, we got it. Yeah, there we go. We got the Rocky right there. So it can stay right there. It's fine. It ain't going nowhere. And uh, this right here, everybody knows Leprechaun. Uh, why do I have this is a very good question. I do like the Leprechaun series. I'm not in love with it. You know, I'll watch it if I'm going to drink or if I'm going to, you know... If I'm just bored and I want to watch something silly. Oddly enough, around 2011, when I finally got into these movies, uh, the funny thing was it was in March, too. It was right around St. Patty's Day. I don't know what possessed me to want to get these movies, but I said, you know what? I think it was Warwick Davis. I was I was YouTube and him, and I found out he did it, and then I was watching... I was on Cinemascus website. Everybody knows the Angry Video Game Nerd. And uh, I said, you know what? Let me get the movies. And the first one was funny. I mean, it starts out goofy as opposed to, you know, Child's Play tried to be serious in the beginning. Then it turned goofy. But this started out goofy. And uh, Jennifer Aniston was in it. She was a little too skinny in the movie, but, you know, uh, I thought it was, you know, it was funny. And I, they got crappier and crappier as they went on, but, uh, you know, I figured, what the hell, why not get it? And I threw it on the door. So if I'm embarrassed about it, all I gotta do is, you know, open the door and it can't see it. But, uh, 
I don't know. That's about it. The rest of it's just random. I used to be in a wrestling, so I threw some Hogan pictures on the wall, and I got. I used to listen to him a lot. So uh, that's Billy Velo. But I don't really listen to too much him no more. It's just Nintendo Powers, and I get bored. And I'll print pictures on the internet and throw them up there. I like to cover my wall as much as possible, just give it character. But uh, I love movie posters, especially original ones. So that's about it for y'all. Um, I got a lot more videos of stuff I could show y'all. But uh, for right now, I'm going to call it a night. Y'all rate, subscribe, like this video. You know, give me comments what y'all think about, you know, what y'all see, what y'all like, what y'all think I should trade out maybe because I'm willing to listen and I'm willing to take some, you know, willing to take some advice on what y'all think. So uh, it's your boy Christian signing out. Take it easy.